unboxing, product review, grab bag, first shipment. is talk about the resin, um, the resin we've been using. This stuff is great. Um, it has a really, really slow setup time um, per the mix ratios that we've been doing. We haven't really made any hot, hot batches. Um, so it's been great to work with so we can make a large quantity up. Um, and we have lots of working time with it, which has been really nice for what we've been doing. Um, so it just, it cures in 24 hours or it hardens up in 24 hours. So, um, but it also, it also can kick over if you have more hardener um, as any resins do, but this stuff has been great. Um, super, super strong. We've done some test pieces and yeah, I can't really, it'll, it bends and it snaps and yeah, it works really good. Um, but they have since rebranded um, to this rather, nice looking um, representation of what they got going on. So Polymer Planet has rebranded to True Composites. Welcome to the uh, 21st century Polymer Planet. Um, it's the same stuff. Uh, it's the same resin. It's the same price. It's the same Amazon link. All it is is a rebranding. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's the same stuff. So I just bought two more gallons of this stuff because we are about to re-fiberglass the entire hull. Yeah, that's gonna take a lot of this stuff. So I just bought a couple more gallons. Again, they're about 50, 50 a piece. You can get a pack of two for just under 100. Um, yeah, it's really, really great stuff. Um, one of the things I didn't realize was how much resin goes into the boat. Um, it's a lot, guys. It's, it's a lot. So if you're looking to do any fiberglass work, just remember, uh, resin it can be expensive, um, but this polyester, um, resin has been working really great, especially for the mat that we've been using. Um, it releases the glue, releases the glue on the mat, um, so that you can work with it a bit more. Um, next up is the bow, the bow uh, handle. advertised as a sunfish um, bow handle. It's a chrome plated alloy material, um, has some really nice lines to it, very, very shiny. Um, I'm sure it polishes up. Um, the ratings are really good on it. It lasts really long, it doesn't corrode. Um, I th think it was like $10, $12 or something like that, 15 for this nice piece. And that will sit right on the bow and I'll take a picture of kind of what that mocked up to be. So yeah, it turned out really, really nice and looking forward to install that. But we needed to know where those holes were so we could add structure underneath for those to screw to because you don't want to have to, when you're pulling this, because that's what it's used for, to pull the boat along. Um, you want to be sure that that's screwed into. So yeah, it doesn't come with any um, fasteners, obviously, because you probably wouldn't use them anyways. But yeah, nice bow handle by Perco. We, we make it right, right here. Good job.
job, Perko. Proud of you. Um, next up, this is just the switch that came with the trolling motor inboard that we have, so didn't buy that. Um, these are some pins, some like hitch pins that we've been looking at for using for the trolling motor mount. <laughs> Um, this one's about the right size for the pin for the trolling motor. Um, so the trolling motor is now basically an inboard slash outboard prop. Um, so it's no longer a trolling motor. So this just goes in there so it can be pinned in place and you can remove the trolling motor, but obviously it'll probably stay in for most of the time. Here is a stainless steel machined washer that's gonna sit on top of the deck for the tiller to attach to. So the tiller isn't rubbing on the deck, it's rubbing on this nice, nicely machined stainless steel washer. So it's really nice. This is a marine cigarette lighter, also from Amazon. Um, so on the console, um, we're gonna run all of our electronics to the single console. And on the console is gonna be this marine cigarette lighter. So you'll be able to plug in uh, USB jacks or anything that you need to charge, whether it be a, an inverter to have a 12 volt, you know, regular plug, or if you want to just to charge your phone or to run speakers or something. It's nice to just have a, um, universal USB charger. I think this one was like $9. Comes with wiring, which is really nice. But yeah, it's nothing fancy. I was looking at some aluminum ones, but this one comes with a really nice uh, silicone cap type thing to seal it up. Um, it has the fancy words marine on it, if you can see that. That's, that's pretty nice. Makes it, makes it seem legit. Um, but yeah, it's a uh, Nothing fancy, just a nice cigarette lighter. Pretty long for threads, it's good stuff. Next, 
we have this pretty fancy looking chrome chrome handle. Yeah, this is also for the tiller. This was a, a pretty nice piece. Um, so this is gonna be on a tiller assembly that we've designed so you can tighten it and it'll latch around the tiller, um, tiller post that attaches to the rudder. Um, I'm sure that won't really make sense at this point, but it's good to have it here so we can get the dimensions. But yeah, this just tightens down on that tiller. It's really, really nice, hefty piece of a machined. It's got a really nice chrome finish to it. Yeah. Very nice. Next up is the boat cleats. So these are a steal of a deal. These are five inch stainless stainless steel boat cleats. These are very, very nice. Um, also Amazon. There was a lot of different models. I liked the ones with the posts coming off the side. So you actually have two, two uh, screw posts. So it's just a lot more stable on the deck. Um, there were a few that actually had the screws on the top. I didn't like that because you just have water sitting in it or you have ropes catching on it. This is just a lot nicer though. So it's sitting flush to the deck. They're all nice and countersunk. Um, into the machine build. Yeah, it's just a really, really nice piece. Um, yeah, and it was relatively affordable. I think I got four of them for $50 or so. The link will obviously be down in the description, but yeah, these are very, very nice. They're gonna be a perfect size for our boat. They're five inches. So yeah, it will be perfect for what we have. And yeah, it came in a pack of four. But yeah, I, I can't speak to how, how well they're gonna weather or they're plated or anything, but you know, the it said stainless steel and it seems to be stainless steel. And yeah, it's a big old pack of them, so really nice. Um, and finally, at least in this grab bag, we have our bow lights. <laughs> This is a stainless steel finished bow light. And if you want to talk about design choices, there are so many, so many choices for design um, with these things. Um, but this is the one that I went with. It's just a very slim profile, very elegant looking, just bow light. It has the red and the green port and starboard um, lights on it. A nice waterproof seal, uh, minimal, minimal wiring. Um, yeah, it's just a really nice, really nice built thing. I um, just tested it. Um, so the lights are super bright. It's just going to be really nice sitting up there on the deck along that center trim piece. But yeah, no, it's uh, that's our grab bag, um, at least for this time, <laughs> till, till we run out of money. But um, yeah, that's all, all the goodies for this round. <laughs> Obviously, there'll be more in the future. We have more switches and stuff for the panel on the back. Um, we have more finishes for the um, for the uh, tiller. We have more finishes for all the sailing. There's going to be cam cleats. There's going to be um, running cleats. Um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of a lot of silver hardware. Aesthetic we're going for the boat, but yeah, 
Um, so we will continue. But yeah, thanks for tuning in for this grab bag. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs>